As Year of the Crayon comes to a close, it is time for us to finally decide which of these crayons is the best. That's right, in today's video we're going to be testing out 16 different brands of crayons to figure out which one's the best. Let's get into it. And here we are, we have our mega crayon testing chart. We're gonna test things, we're gonna compare things. In our first column, we have the brand of crayon, followed by the number of crayons in the pack. We've got the price of the entire pack of crayons, the price per individual crayon in the pack. We're gonna test some blending, just do a whole rainbow, see how the crayons blend together, do a bit of layer testing, how do the crayons layer on top of each other, and one of my biggest gripes about crayons, how is the dust? You know that little crayon sort of dusting crumbly stuff that is left behind is it manageable or is it horrible let's find out starting off with our first brand of crayon we have crazy art in our crazy art pack we do have 24 crayons this pack itself was only 50 us cents oh my god that is incredibly cheap which comes to two cents a crayon! That's ridiculous! At two cents a crayon, let's see how they blend. Starting off with red, working our way down the rainbow. Oh, they go down pretty smoothly. So far, I do really like how smooth these crayons feel. Two cents a crayon? I'm shook. Let's see how they layer. I'm going to put down, let's see, red. I don't know. And then we'll go across with a blue. How's that layer? Can you see through it? Does it layer well? Honestly, I'm not really sure what I'm testing here. Oh, you know what? We got some smearage. What does that mean? I don't know. I guess we'll see how it compares. I, I don't know. Let's just say it doesn't pass the dust test. Next up, we have the Playday Expressions brand. This is the Walmart brand. Again, this pack is 24 colors, which brings us to a 75 cent total pack oh my goodness still so cheap three cents a crayon apparently three cents a crayon is too cheap to put a color on the wrapping so we're just gonna have to guess is this the red i hope so Ooh, this one feels transparent uh definitely not as good of a quality as our two cent crayons i can just feel it already but you know what? I, I could be taken by surprise. Let's just let's just see how they blend. Ooh, a big chunk just fell off the orange. Something tells me it is not going to pass the dust test. I will say the weird like transparency lack of color does make it easier to blend. It didn't smudge as much as our crazy art, but I can't get over the pigmentation difference. That, that's insane. Obviously, with chunks of crayon falling off, I cannot let it pass the dust test. Moving on to Mondo Llama, the Target brand. This pack of 24 crayons comes to a total of $1, which is about four cents per crayon. That's right, we're moving up, y'all. I think one of my favorite things about looking at each of these is the different branding and packaging with the crayons. Ooh, this one feels very solid and scratchy. It almost has a sort of colored pencil feel to it. Definitely a lot less dusting happening compared to our other two brands. So far it's passing that dust test. These feel really solid, so something tells me they're gonna pass this test, let's see. Wow, very minimal like smudging compared to the other two. I'm gonna say these crayons pass the dust test. Next up, we have Creatology, which is the brand you can find at the Michaels Craft Stores. We have a pack of 24 crayons at a total price of $1.50, making our crayons six cents per crayon. So let's get in there. Let's try blending. Ooh, <gasps> wait, I love the way these feel. I, I don't know, something about them just feels like they just go down well. Look at, where's the dust? Look at this blending. What? Oh, oh my gosh. I, wh where's the dust? Where's the dust? Oh my gosh. That was a pleasure. <laughs> All right, nice and solid. Inner yellow, a little bit of smudging. Not too bad. Did it pass the dust? 
Where is a single piece of dust? Okay, there's, there's dusting, but oh my God, amazing. Our next brand is Kids Craft. These crayons I found at a dollar store. Once again, we do have a 24 pack of crayons coming at a dollar 50 US, six cent crayon. Um, also apparently they couldn't afford color names. So I'm just guessing what these colors are. Hopefully I chose correctly. This is horrible. Oh, oh where's the color? Honestly, they, they remind me of like when you're a kid and you go to a restaurant and they hand you the activity book and, and it just feels bad in every way. Also, I think this is the purple. This looks like Dookie Brown, but nope, that's that's our purple. Oh, like the dusting. The dusting is bad. Did it pass the dust test? Absolutely. Uh, it did not. Everything, like the color is horrible, the dusting is horrible. It, it's just, it went down very like thick and then it kind of came back off. The absolute worst so far. Next up we have probably the most well-known crayon brand, Crayola Classic. We have a 24 pack at $2 a pack. Of course it does vary where you buy them, but we're going with $2 bringing us up to eight cents per a crayon. I do have to say the blending, very lovely. The color going down, love it, nice and solid. Dusting, the dusting I could go without. <laughs> Honestly, I really do like the quality of Crayola. I like the blending, it goes down well. I do have to say the dusting isn't great. I think when you look at the layering, if there's that much dusting from like a single line, you blew it. <laughs> Next up, we got the brand Jot, whatever that is. I think I got this at a dollar store here in Canada. This is a solid pack of 48 crayons with a built-in sharpener. Love that. $4.50, getting a little pricey. And that brings us to nine cents per crayon. Though apparently they couldn't afford labeling, so I, again, I had to guess on which colors I'm, whoa, <laughs> that feels like an oil pastel, like I'm using lipstick. Oh, oh my, wait, is this wax? Is this a wax crayon? Can we confirm if this is a wax crayon? Let me, I, I feel like I need to Google this. I can't find out on the internet what these are made out of, but they're just so like, they're melting away and they're so soft. And I'm also breaking every single one as I use them, oh no. Okay, moving on to, oh my God, <laughs> look how thick they are. Oh, <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, uh, let's just, uh, did it pass the dust test? Absolutely not. It is spilling over, oh, it's, it's everywhere. It's, what a mess. <laughs> All right, moving on to the Ikea crayons. These crayons are from, that's right, Ikea. All right, we have a pack of only 12 crayons this time. This pack was $1.50, but because we only had 12 crayons, that brought us all the way up to, that's right, 13 cents a crayon. Again, Ikea couldn't handle putting names of colors on these crayons, so sort of like a colored pencil feel, but obviously not a colored pencil. The blending honestly isn't really going too smoothly. And it does have a very, very pale color to it. These are not the most pigmented crayons on the sheet so far. Which honestly, some people, you know, if you don't want a super pigmented crayon, there you go. I do like how it goes down with just one stroke. It goes down nice and solid, so I can appreciate that. Very minimal smudging, very minimal dusting. I do appreciate that, so it does pass the dust test. Next up, we have the Play School brand. I think this is a popular brand. We have a pack of 10 at $1.50, which does bring this up to 15 whole cents per crayon. And I might add, these are some thick boys, probably the most different, oh my God, this is horrible. Oh, it feels like this is made out of cardboard. <laughs> I was gonna say these are probably the first crayon that has varied in size or shape of any kind. Oh my gosh, why does it sound like sand? It sounds like it's made out of sand. Why is it so loud? 
and dry. Two brands ago, our crayons were so moist and now we have the driest crayons I've ever used in my life. I will say the pastel look is very cute and they are blending really well together. Unfortunately, oh, why did I use purple? I was not thinking, uh, I'll just, uh, <laughs> uh, whoopsie, sorry, play school, I did you dirty. Obviously, play school did not pass the dust test. Look at this. It's one of our dustiest yet. Next up is the brand Mapped. I have never heard of these before. I got them from Amazon.ca. So I'm pretty curious to try them. We do have a pack of 24 crayons. They do cost $5.50. So we're definitely getting up there in hopefully quality, which brings us to 23 cents per crayon. I do really like the names of these crayons. We have Kiss Red, Fruity Orange, Sunny Yellow, Green Golf, Marine Blue, and Ultraviolet. Pretty cute. Oh, and something else I really liked about these crayons is the shape. They are triangular shaped, but also a nice little decorative little, I don't even know what to call it, but it's pretty cute. These are the most like different crayons we've had so far. Ooh, <gasps> these feel these feel lovely. They go down, they're a little wet. <laughs> they are blending like a dream. Oh my God. All right, moving on to, let's get that layer test. Oh, I just love how solid these strokes are. A little bit of smudging, but it's not horrible. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think, I wanted to pass the dust test, but especially here with the green, the blue, and the violet, eh, I, I, I can't. Next up, we have the brand Melissa and Doug, which I got at Whole Foods. I was not expecting to find crayons at Whole Foods. Very fancy. This pack has 24 colors. It cost $6, which brings them to 25 cents per crayon. Oh my goodness, why is this, why is this red pink? Why is this red pink? I don't like it. Oh, they feel very solid. I do appreciate that, but the, the color is not good. I don't know, for expensive fancy crayons, this purple's a ghost. <laughs> oh no. Like, you can barely see anything. I do like the sounds they make, listen. They sound like little pieces of plastic. Moving on to some more artistic brands, we have Stadler. Oh no, my camera stopped. I don't know how much footage we lost, but let's just say Stadler as an art brand, the blending would recommend. The colors, yes, I love them. The dusting wasn't horrible, so I counted that as a pass. So for an art brand, I would say Stadler did pretty good. Next up is another brand I found on Amazon. We have Uli. The smell of these crayons is very interesting. It almost smells like it's spiced in some way. We have a pack of 24 crayons, $13, which brings our crayons to 54 cents a crayon. All right, they're nice and smooth so far. A little fat and chunky. I don't know how I feel about that. Ooh, that blue goes down so solid and flat. Oh my goodness. Okay. I mean, worth $13, I don't know, but they were pretty nice. I wanna say they even passed that dust test. They went down solid. Look how flat and smooth that is. Probably the smoothest so far. Blended lovely. Good job, Uli. Next up is Faber-Castell, a very well-known art brand. It even has this cute little pull tab on the back. I love that. Faber-Castell comes in a pack of 12 crayons at $10.50, bringing these crayons up to 88 cents per crayon. I also love that you can just look at these crayons and be like, yep, that, that's Faber-Castell. It's got a sort of hybrid-y crayon colored pencil feel right away, which does make for a fun texture when blending. I just feel like I really had to press down to get the color going. They kind of go down pale and then you sort of have to work them in. I don't know what it is, but well, they did a smudge, that's nice. There was a little bit of dusting, but I think overall, I'm gonna say it passed, I'm gonna say it passed. Next up is Honey Sticks Beeswax Crayons Thins, apparently, these are very thick. It smells amazing, just like beeswax. This pack of crayons comes in eight at a total of $15 US, which is $1.88 per crayon. Now, unfortunately, there is no purple crayon, so our rainbow's going to end a little short. 
Oh, very desaturated, which I don't know how fair it will be to judge these compared to the others. I feel like these have a very sort of like organic, natural vibe to them. So of course the colors, I guess, are going to be a lot muted compared to the others, question mark? Very sticky. You hear that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, they obviously passed the dust test, almost no dust at all, though the color's pretty weak. Um, they're just very like chunky. I don't know. I mean, I, I kind of feel like they're a different product altogether, but I, I don't hate them, question mark. In last but not least, we have the Stockmar crayons, which I bought on Amazon. I foolishly bought these, not realizing there is a stick form. I bought a block form at eight crayons per pack. I paid 20 US dollars for these, which is $2.50 per a little crayon block. It also came with this little tool, which I wonder if this is like a sharpening tool or I, I don't, I, I don't know. Should I look into it? Probably. Okay, I Googled it. This little tool can be used to scrape away wax on the paper to create effects like textures or other things. With that being said, here we go. I feel so fancy just putting a crayon in a different form. Now I will say that these are not blending very well at all. So far, I do not know what makes these crayons so expensive. I could see these being used by super crayon professional artists to create amazing art, but I don't know. I, so far, I'm kind of like super not impressed for $20. <laughs> they smudged on that test pretty badly. They were probably the worst the blending crayon we've used so far. It did pass the dust test, I, I will say. Good job. Okay, fine, I'll use it. Let's use this textured bit. Oh. Oh, okay. That's interesting. You can see, like, can you even see that? We've got a little, little line of texture. Well, folks, we've done it from 50 cents to $20. We've tested 16 different crayon brands to find the best bang for your buck. Are these my top three brand picks? Honestly, I can't remember at this point, but I did really like, I think, Uli, Creatology, and Stadler. So there are our winning crayons. Congratulations to you three. You did it. I hope you guys learned a thing or two about crayons. All right guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. A huge thank you to my patrons for all of the support. You guys are the best. If you want monthly live streams, early access to these videos and more, check out my Patreon link in the description. Thank you guys all so, so much for your support. Bye.